Hello everyone and welcome back to another LEGO Beyblade review. Today we are going to be reviewing my custom Excalibur Beyblade and Gear Multiplier Ripcord Launcher. So here is the Excalibur Bay, this is called Smash Excalibur. Full combo Smash Excalibur, um, Convert Iron. But before we get to this, let's take a look at the Gear Multiplier Launcher. So. The ripcord is very, very short, but that's because I had to sacrifice a couple pieces from my primary dual spin launcher, which isn't that big of a deal, but I still had to uh, do it just to make this thing now. The gear multiplier launcher, it's nothing new, I'll admit it, but I just wanted to make one. Essentially, it's this giant gear that turns this smaller gear, and then you of course have the Beyblade launcher uh, piece right there. And I guess it speeds up the stuff, I don't know any physics terms, honestly. But it is a very strong uh, launcher for LEGO Beyblades. So now, let's take a look at the bay itself. Smash Excalibur. So let's take a look at the chip. Here is the chip. This is, of course, the Excalibur chip. And at first, it might not look very special, but it's actually very off-balance. And there's a gimmick with this chip in this player base. As you can see, one side is completely filled, while the other side is very thin. This gives the Beyblade a very unbalanced center of gravity, providing a lot more impact. And this actually works extremely well with the Smash layer base. Here it is. I really like the shape of this thing, very Excalibur, which is pretty important when using Excalibur base, so it makes sense. But it is really powerful. Of course, you have the giant sword right here, which provides a lot of impact and recoil, and it's very strong. Now, with this chip and with this layer base, there's actually a weight shifting gimmick, because I couldn't do like a metal sword or an extending sword, that would be very hard, so with the heavier part on the hilt of the sword, this is your balance mode, but with the weight on the heavier side, the main point of the sword, this is your unbalanced mode, so yes, I'd say I did a pretty good job with giving a gimmick to an Excalibur Bay, and even the disc corresponds to the rest of the layer. It's the Convert Hypersphere Disc. It's not very heavy, but as you can see, one side has a little patch and the other side has a hole. You can line this up with a sword and whatnot and make it balanced and unbalanced, I guess. I mean, I guess like, this near the handle is... Um, balance and near the handle is off balance, so that's cool, I guess. And yeah, I, I'd say it works really well with the rest of the layer. Finally, we have the driver, which is called Iron. Now, this is actually a, an official LEGO piece. Um, if I just take this off, I can't take this off. Um, but basically, it's this really old school LEGO tire piece, and for some reason, they had metal. And I thought, hey, that would be a good idea for a driver, so I did it. So the tip itself is roughly the size of Excel, however it is much slower than Excel. There's also a lot of tape on this just to hold this blue piece in because without it it looks like a stick and it looks kind of like a bullet without the bullet, if you know what I'm talking about. And um, yeah, overall it's uh, it's it's an iron driver and honestly not that special. So yeah, that's the full combo for Smash Excalibur. Now let's go do the test battles. It's battle time with Excalibur. So first we're going to start with a test launch with the gear multiplier. Alright, overall, it looks very average. So, yeah, let's really start with the test battles. First battle against Colossal Cthulhu. Alright, pocket out. Ooh, a burst. Alright, sick. See, that's the entire point of Excalibur, so... Not bad, not bad. Oh my goodness! It just flew out of the stadium, oh my gosh. Alright, Excalibur playing it safe. Oh! Ah oh, yeah, Bearing has that crazy life after death, I'm honestly not that surprised. I feel like I do that every single time I repeat the bay. Alright, yep. Oh my goodness, dude. This is such a bad Beyblade. Alright, so we're gonna be switching the mode to unbalanced, so we'll switch the chip around. Disc the other way, and now it's in 
unbalanced mode. Yeah, much harder hitting hits, I guess. Can it break through the defenses of Taurus? I don't think anything can, to be fair. Actually, Valkyrie. Let's use him next. Oh! Oh, I almost beat Valkyrie. Alright, you gotta give him props for that. I almost got a pocket out. Oh, that was a huge hit. Let's do a couple more battles with Exo, but this time it's going to be in balance mode. Oh, it ripped something off of Exo. And it bursts. All right. Yeah, you can see how slow it is in comparison to Hyper. Oh my gosh, again? Man, Excalibur is just too crazy. Alright, so that was the review on Smash Excalibur overall. Balance mode is definitely a lot better than unbalanced mode, but it's such a heavy hitting attack type, despite not being that heavy. Really good at just breaking uh, Steam Exo, so that's nice. So if you like this video, comment, like, subscribe, do whatever you want, and I'll see you in the next video.